Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Tana's out here uh, on her own, and I don't dare move her any closer because she's just gonna get fucking slaughtered. Otherwise, it's not a good thing. So I guess I'll just end the turn, and uh, we'll we'll charge on as soon as they have made their move. Now there's gonna be lots of reinforcements coming from those forts down below. I believe a couple of mercenaries each turn after turn three up to around turn six. Um. They'll uh, be spawning in from those two forts down there, and uh, could be a little bit of an issue, but should be okay in general. Um, now, if we manage to keep these soldiers alive, these uh, three guys who are with Duracell, if we manage to make sure they don't die, then we're actually going to get a bonus knight crest uh, at the end of the level, which could be quite good. So we could try and do that, but I'm not hugely bothered about it. Anyway, uh, Commander Cormac, I know what I must do. I'm a sworn knight of Grana, and I have a duty to fulfill. Start by putting an end to that Frillian army. Move out! Oh dear, they're gonna start moving. Not sure if I should move Tana. I will. I'm gonna move her a bit to safety over here. Because I wouldn't be scared otherwise. And it's not good when I'm scared. I don't like it. I'm not impressed. Also, there will be five cavaliers coming from this general direction. I think I'm gonna leave behind Vanessa probably. Um. I think I'll leave Gilliam and Vanessa uh, actually over here uh, to deal with those guys and maybe loot even. Yeah, maybe loot. Uh, and then the rest of my motley crew can move their way down here. Naomi, certainly. Uh, I don't want to get a heal on her. Get that sorted. That's for Natasha. And uh, let's send Ephraim down here. What the hell not? Um, make sure I'm not really like in range of any. Oh, God. I'm in range of like every. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But, yeah, you know, it happens. Alright, let's pop him down here. No, not rescue item. Steel Lance is fine. That's good. I actually send Joshua down to help them. And Kyle as well, actually. Kyle does probably a better job, honestly. Um, that's that, so let's end the turn. We certainly want to get to that house that's above Duacell because that will have a hero's crest, and we can ship that directly to our good friend Garcia who can then turn into a warrior or a hero, I think. Uh, so, we'll, we'll get to that. We shall get to that, indeed. Oh god, dodge out of the way, Jesus. Fucking soldier, knifing everyone. Mmm, crazy. Tell you what. <coughs> oh no! Yeah, so keeping these guys alive is gonna be kinda difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, they are moving this way. Okay, actually, you know what? If I can get Tana to talk to Cormag. This could be okay, it's just a case of dealing with the other two guys. Oh, those guys can heal themselves with vulnerabilities. That's cool. That's actually pretty beneficial to my cause, honestly. It's pretty nice. Can we kill? 11. Really? Oh man. Fucking putting it right down to the white here, and they don't get a double attack either. Alright, more spawns coming in. As you can see, this fort is just going to constantly spawn these motherfuckers. Alright, so Tana is in range to talk to Cormag and to recruit him. Question is... Uh, well, then I'll only have one to deal with, which I should be okay with, actually. I'll do that. I will do that. First of all, I'm going to try and deal with uh, everything else that's going on. Uh, so much stuff. Uh, okay, I'll get Ephraim to go down here. Um, he can steal Lance, skewer this man. That's good. Uh, and then I'll get maybe Calm to come down with me. Um, finish off this dude with a quick iron sword. Slice. Beautiful. Look at that rogue. He's he's like spinning in the air when he jumps. He turns into a fucking like screw attack. Which is pretty cool. Um, mm, I don't want to be wasting my kill and edge. I don't really want to be using my armor slayer either. So I guess I'll just go with the iron sword. Joshua can do fine with an iron sword anyway, it's not like it's a big deal. It's whatever. I'm not really too bothered about it. Could give him better weaponry, but yeah, no. Not really that necessary. Okay, fine. I'm not going to be able to actually uh, double this guy, but he does no damage to me, so it's not like I'm really complaining, honestly, when it comes to that. Uh, what do I want to do with Naomi? Do I want Naomi over here as well? Not really. I think she can do well down here. No, actually, she will do well down here. <laughs> Use that iron bow to finish this man off. Slice that soldier down to size. 
perfect. Okay, um, I'm going to leave Natasha up here just for the moment, um, because she might have to do some healing duty. Right, so let's talk to Cormac with Tana. Uh, she's... Oh, God. Shit! Why did I do that? See, there are level 8 motherfuckers. Okay, well, I guess that I missed that fucking conversation. <sighs> I really can't be bothered to go back and get it. But, you know, Cormac's recruited now, so whatever. God damn it, why did I press that button? I just wanted... Ah! Oh, well. I guess you miss out on one conversation. So be it, ladies and gentlemen. So be it. I'm sure it wasn't all that important. I'm sure it wasn't. Anyway, let's just uh, stick here for the moment, time being. Let's end the turn. Nothing else we can really do. Cormag's on our side, at least. So, that's a good thing. Oh, God, really? You know, you could have tried a little harder there, but... Um. So, how are we doing, everyone? Having fun? Chilling? Relaxing? Some Sunday Fire Emblem? Um, I think I'm going to go back to once per week on Fire Emblem. And it's a couple of reasons. Um, mainly because I'm finding I don't have the time. Well, there goes our Knight's Crest. Finding I really don't have the time to be uh, producing Fire Emblem constantly. It means that I have to, as soon as I've done recording, I have to like basically sit down and record again. Which I don't really like doing. I like to say this at my own pace, really. Uh, and also, the views have been lower recently. Um, and what I can assume is, well, the people don't really have time to watch six Fire Emblem videos a week, which is, you know, it's a demand, honestly. And I'm not surprised at it. Uh, but yeah, it's... it's I'm not really uh, feeling like I should put out so much content because otherwise people start drowning in it. I don't like when people drown in content. It's, it's just a mess for everyone involved, really. Uh, so, I am going to cut back on Fire Emblem. Um, and I'll also be back at university in about two weeks time. So, I just won't have the time to be doing Fire Emblem twice a week. It's just not going to be feasible. So, for all these stated reasons, uh, that is what's going to be happening uh, on the Fire Emblem side of things, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, you will still be getting your regular Sunday dose, which is what I did for the entirety of Fire Emblem 7, and that seemed to go pretty well. So I'm just going to continue that, really, uh, and hopefully we'll be fine. Now I want to see how much comb it's going to do to this guy. He is going to be able to kill him, which is nice. I'm going to just go with that. I'm going to roll with that, honestly, um, because Colm doesn't really get enough experience as it is. I really would have liked to have him with a steel sword, but I started the map and realized that I didn't have any spare steel swords, and I hadn't gone to the shop before to get one for him, so... Anyway, let's talk to Duasol. Let's have a conversation. Duasol! So you, Prince of Frim! Why were those Grado men after you? What's going on? Wait, we can talk later. Let's get you to safety first. Come with us, Duasol. Mm. Duasol! I'm General Duasol, the Obsidian of the Imperial Three. This name and my service to His Majesty have been my last blood. As of this moment, it's all gone. No reason to continue. Duasol, enough of this rubbish. You're my mentor. I will not let you die. Prince Ephraim! I know about the Emperor's madness. How will your death, how will your death serve Grado? Who will it help? What of your country, its people, its future? You will live, Duasel, as a traitor, in disgrace. I know that for a man such as you, this is more agonizing than death. But you will live nonetheless. You will live for something more important. I understand. This old fool's life is yours. So Duasel joins our team. I wish this soldier would fucking move out of the way so I can get to the stupid house. But Duasel is someone we haven't met in Erica's chapter, and 
the reason is because he's only part of Ephraim's route. Um, you do get access to him in Ephraim's, uh, or in Erica's chapter, and that's actually in the desert, which is where Ephraim and Erica meet up. Uh, when Ephraim arrives in the desert, he brings Duisal with him. So that is generally uh, where you'll see him for the first time, but he's a great knight. Uh, he is the only promoted great knight uh, that you get access to. You, of course, can have many great knights because you have access to like three cavaliers in this game. So uh, you can go crazy on the great knight front if you wish. Um, you can even make Amelia a fucking great knight if you want to. You know, just everyone a great knight. Push the boat out. You can make Gilliam a great knight. Great knight is one of the most, one of the most. Uh, Usable, usable is not really the word. One of the most um, common classes, maybe one might say. Like there are so many people who can become great knights in this game. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, that's that. Well, Cormag is now uh, officially ours. That's good, which means we should probably just try and get Tarn out of the way of everything. Um, she will. Unfortunately, have problems otherwise because she's so weak, so teeny tiny and weak. Uh, I'm gonna place you actually here and we'll get Joshua up here. I'll leave Garcia over there for a moment. But I need to get into that fucking house to get the hero's crest. Two stupid things. People need to move out the way. I could just rescue them with Duisal and then move Ephraim to that spot. That's an option. And then I could pop it into the. Sub why? Actually, no, that wouldn't work because Garcia wouldn't have any way of getting to it. Unless he comes down and grabs it. So I'll probably do that actually get Garcia to move his way down to Ephraim and grab that off of him. Jesus. Don't attack a poor defenseless woman on a horse! You sick bastard. Stupid soldier. I'm not a fan of that. God damn it, these stupid boats. I keep forgetting that they even exist. He's going for that soldier as well. Come on, man. Jeez, they're all going after the soldiers. They just don't want me to get a knight's crest. I can't get one anyway because one of the soldiers is already dead, but you know. That's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Oh, well. Alright, what are you just hide hiding away, I guess? Oh, what are you... Okay, he's just trying to heal himself. Get out of the action. What's the other, the other soldiers not doing anything? We've still got people spawning. Return seven. I think that should be almost the end of the spawns. God damn, it's a bit crazy. Why does Dusel have a little thing on him? Is that diamond? Is he holding someone? I know that means something. See that little diamond flashing on him? That does mean something, and I keep forgetting what the fuck it means. Something to do with. I don't know. I don't know! Right, I'll just, I'll just rescue the stupid asshole. Go down here. Supply, just wait. Um, you can deal with this, yeah. Colm can deal with this, that's fine. Zero percent chance to hit me. I think that's probably quite good odds. I have a few, oh, there's the crit. Bit of a rogue crit animation. You see what I'm saying? It's just a double, <laughs> yeah. It's a double meaning, because you know, he's a rogue. It's also not very common. Oh, Marissa, what's up? Uh, do you want to give me something? Thanks. All right, bye. I guess Marissa just shows up, gives us a hero's crest. That's cool. I'm happy with that. I, uh, I'm not gonna complain about it, you know. Why would I? It's what I need for Garcia, after all. So it's good stuff. And Dabby Dozy. Alright, we've got to kill this man and then... Alright, you know what? I'm going to use you to kill this man because loot of all the people actually needs the experience because she is not yet level 20. She needs it. Uh, actually, Gillian probably needs it more, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Because Gillian is just slow. Slow and bumbling. I guess we're just gonna slowly and bumblingly move him back. All right, Tana, come here. I'll get uh, Natasha to give you a quick heal, even though she kind of needs a bit of a heal herself. Yeah, oh, jeez. God, I still can't believe I skipped that Tana Cormag cutscene. So stupid. So stupid. Oh well. 
That's how life goes. Uh, I'm really not in the mood to move Joshua into all this clusterfuck of people. I'm trying to move Cormag around. Don't want to move him down south because we do have the fucking boat that can horribly murder us, so that is the problem. I can't have a survive another three turns pretty easily, I feel. Shouldn't be too, too, too difficult. Hopefully we'll finish the map in this video. I think I will just try and do that because I don't want to push this out too long. God, stop going after all my fucking characters, you stupid boats. Just don't like you. God, how many fucking respawns do we have with these guys? Jesus. Right, kill this man. And I'll get Naomi to finish off the next one. Or Joshua and then Naomi. I don't know. We'll just we'll get a line going of... Just get a line of... <sighs> God damn. Seriously. Dodge out of the way. Come on, Naomi. You're better than that. I want to get her sword usage on the go, you know? I want to see how good she does with the sword. She's doing alright so far. Not too shabby from what I can tell. Ephraim, come over here. Uh, trade him the hero's crest next turn. Garcia shall evolve. And I'm actually going to make him a hero in this playthrough because he will be a warrior in uh, in my main playthrough. So I don't want to double up there. I don't want to double up on my characters, if you know what I mean. Um, in terms of classes, anyway. So. Yes. Right, I'll leave it at that. I'm pretty much closing this chapter out. Ugh, let's just have a stretch. Ugh, oh God, I'm so tired. Sleepy, sleepy. Farm such a nice game to just relax to watching. I mean, you can get annoyed at it if you're watching someone who you don't like their playstyle. You're like, oh, move there, you should have moved that guy there, and you should have done that. But I don't know. I'm one of those people who doesn't really get frustrated at watching other people play other games. Even if I know so much more about the game and know that they're doing it horribly wrong. So let's take, for example, God. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Let's take, for example, Nintendo Capri Sun's Pokemon Sapphire playthrough, in which he has no fucking clue what he's doing. Because he's never played a Pokemon game before, right? And he's just no idea. He's bumbling around. He's, he's using fucking water moves on grass types and thinking they're super effective, you know. The general noob thing that you would do. And, uh,. And there are so many people in the comments who just fucking butt her as hell. Oh my lord, if you want to see just the cancerous plague of YouTube, just read some comments from that LP. My lord. Jesus Christ. I'm like, just come on, guys. How, how did you play in your first Pokemon game? Because I certainly didn't play well at all. I was fucking terrible. I freely admit that. So I guess you can make the case that sure he is a lot older than the general person who plays Pokemon for the first time. He's like 36 years old. Most people are about 10. But I mean, I didn't know that poison was super effective on grass until like I started competitive play. And I've been po playing Pokemon for like 10 years at that point. So you know, it's... some people just expect far too much, and I'm really not one of those type of people who get frustrated. I just enjoy the content, and I feel like if you're watching a video on YouTube, what's the point if you're just going to get frustrated at it? Like, I don't know, I watch YouTube to relax and enjoy myself, not to shout at my screen. I'm not the kind of person who shouts at my screen. And I know that there were lots of people who shouted at the screen when they were watching my Heavy Rain LP. Uh, and that, in some instances, is very warranted. Especially in the chapter where I was just crawling on glass and then there was the electricity thing. That was a horribly painful chapter. And I agree that that was just me being terrible. But, you know, when it all comes down to it, I don't know, I just I don't feel like that's something that people should be really worrying about. But hey, it's my opinion, you know? 
what does that really count for? I'm just a guy on the internet after all. Just a guy on the internet. Oh well, such is life. Hey, Killing Edge, that's cool. Pop that over to uh, Joshua. I guess Naomi could even use it herself, but... Hmm. Kind of want to try and kill the boss, honestly. What does he have? He has something. Uh, I can't actually get anything from him. Can I steal a longbow from him? I doubt it. I'm not even within range anyway. See, Ephraim could destroy him with a rain leaf, but I don't actually have enough turns to be able to go and do that, so... Let's get Joshua to kill this guy. Just speed that up. Speed through this. Kyle, how are you going to wind up with Axe Reaver is going to do 13 but then oh Horse Slayer but he has a Lance Reaver is the problem so we're both acting against and a 19% chance to hit fuck off <laughs> I'm not doing that instead I'm just going to stand here and use the Hero's Crest with Garcia and we're going to turn him into a hero funnily enough uh, because he's going to be a warrior in our like, main game so they already said that you should pay attention. God damn it. Alright. Garcia! Hero. He is a hero. He's a hero here in the dead of night. He's gotta be good and he's gotta be. I don't know. I said the time. I'm done. I'm finished. It's over. Oh shit! I forgot about him having a longbow. Well, at least he's not going to get a double attack in. So, there we go. That's dumb, but so be it. Now he's going to run away. God, they held on for too long. Just continue General Volta will have me. Prepare ship, we must flee quickly. But, but General Volta, he'll be so angry. But do dive away. General Volta will never forgive our failure here. And if we stay, we devour our lives on our fools. Our best bet to give up and escape for our lives. Come on, a bear away. Off they go. Prince Ephraim, the remaining enemy troops have fled. I see. And what of Duracell? Is he unharmed? Yes, this way. Duracell, now part of our army team crew. Prince Ephraim, you've grown to be quite the impressive commander. I remember what I told when young lad you were when I taught you. Any skill I have, I owe to you, Duracell. I'm curious. Why are you being pursued by your own troops? Speak to me, Duracell. I want to put an end to this war. I'm sure you feel the same way. As you know, the Emperor was once a man of compassion. In Lord War, they worked to build peace across all nations. Then, one day, that all changed. But why? Why did he change? What happened? I wish I knew. But if you're looking for a likely cause, I have one. This all seems to become when Prince Leon and the Mages created a strange gemstone they referred to as the Darkstone. The Darkstone? That's what the clerics and the prince called it at any rate. No, I'm just a soldier. I don't know anything about these magic things. But they say the Dark Stone is more powerful even than the Sacred Stones. And the Sacred Stones have the power to defeat the Demon King. The Dark Stone is stronger than they are. Ephraim? What is it, Ma? The wave of evil I felt searching from the capital. It hungers, it consumes, it envelops and transforms. This power can tarnish the purest of souls with its corruption. Are you saying the Dark Stone is, stone is responsible for the change in Vigard? The, time fi the timing fits, doesn't it? The stone is created and then... To a cell, where is the Dark Stone now? It's in the capital with Prince Leon. He's been carrying it with him ever since the day it was created. Understood. To a cell, I'm going to the capital. I must, hit, I must talk to Leon. Maybe we can restore the Emperor together. I'm going with you. But we'll be fighting Grotto's army, your own men. I appreciate your concern, but I've already been branded a traitor. Prince Ephraim, you mean to save my lord the Emperor? If you hope to restore him to his former self, then I will pledge my loyalty to you until your cause is won. Well, that sounds like a good plan. Prince Ephraim, we must now take to the seas. The brilliant army is readying a ship for us now. We have some time to rest until it's ready to sail. Right, we'll take a break. Then, tell the men. And the women. The road ahead is bound to be a rough one. Should, should be in Oh, hello! It's these motherfuckers again. Well, hello there. Tell me, are you all waiting to board a ship? Uh, yes, we are. I recommend you abandon your plans, my friend. 
the locals are too frightened to set sail upon these seas. Is there a storm coming in? No, no storm, demons. Some sort of a phantom ship. Come on to these seas now. A phantom ship? Yes, but you needn't worry for long, my friends. I plan on purging the seas of that pesky ghost ship. Oh no, here we go again. Gwaha! Well said, Prince Loco! I, Laracal, am destined to become the protector of the seas. Fare thee well, strangers. Come, Nozlam, we must find a ship. Gwaha! So right, one. Come on, Renak. Honestly, Laracal, think before you set these plans. Oh, please, someone end my misery. What was all that about? Well, I guess they're off again on their merry adventures. It's like alternate timeline, alternate history going on here, I tell you what. Prince Ephraim, our ship has arrived. Let's prepare to board. Is something troubling you? No, it's nothing. Alright, here we go. And there we have it. That's the end of chapter 10. We're about to board a ship, but maybe some bad things will happen upon it. Perhaps we shall deal with that in the next chapter. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this Fire Emblem episode, and next time we will continue, but until then, thank you again for watching. Do leave a like if you enjoyed it, a comment if you think it shall suffice. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.